Hey, how's it going? I'm going to talk to you guys today about putting heaters in the armrest of a GL1500 Goldwing. This is a 93 SE. I did add an auxiliary fuse box to the bike in order to get extra power out of it without blowing circuits or cutting the factory wiring harness. So basically, what I did was this. I ordered a couple of ATV seat heater elements because they're smaller than car seat elements and they're easier to trim down to the size you need, which is about five or six inches by seven inches long. Basically, the heating element wraps up the side, across the top, down the other side, and over the nose of the pad. The wiring comes out the bottom where I butt spliced it to a set of wires that I added because the factory wire had a big plug on it and there was no way that the wire was long enough to go where I needed it to travel to. So I made my own little wiring harnesses cut the plug off of the seat heater element and fed my own wires up the tube and into the trunk that I drilled from the inside out to hide the wire behind the bracket here. And I went out the existing hole I already had in place for the USBs and the two zone seat heaters. It looks like this before you put the armrest back together, pull all the wires, place it, tighten it all up. Basically, I just used an eighth inch drill bit for a pilot hole, then I stretched out the hole with a 3 16 bit so that I could move the wires around. They were easier to get out, easier to get through, all of that good stuff. And again, these go right back into the trunk, and then they travel out the top and into the back. This was what I did. Remove the armrest pad, 7 16 wrench. It came right off. When you're looking at it from the bottom, you just have these three small Phillips screws holding the pad or the pocket shut. I trimmed off a half inch of the foam with a turkey carving knife, basically. I did that to make room for two things. One, the heating element, which has these lumpy, uncomfortable wires and some kind of a control device in there, whether it's a thermostat or a diode or whatever, who cares? I use Spray Mat 77 to reattach everything. It's just glue and stick at this point. Reattach the pad. I marked it before I cut it with an awl. I just poked through the sponge so I knew where it lined up. Sprayed glue onto the pad. Wrapped the heating element around it. Centered it out. Wrapped it nice and tight. Put two layers of upholstery matting on top. And that took away all of the lumpiness and all of the appearance of the wiring and the hardware from the heating element itself. Stuffed it all back into the pocket and reinstalled it. It was that simple. Basically, I had to use two kits because ATV kits are sold as singles. And I'm going to try to run them from one kit at first. It's going to pull about six amps, so I'm hoping I'm not going to have an overheating problem with the switch. I keep an eye on it. But put it down here because I just ran out of spaces. And that's about it, really. First arm took me maybe two hours of experimenting. I cut it slowly. I kind of made sure I didn't go too far. Second arm, less than an hour to complete, probably. That's about it. If you do it, you have a regular rear passenger. They're going to love you for it. Not to mention that it makes the top of the pad much softer and much more plush. You don't feel any of the hardware in there. It's still good and firm, but this really is much more plush when you put your hand and your arm down on it. It actually came out pretty nice. And that's it. It's relatively clean. Like I say, this is my USB cord for my phones back here. I did have to remove these screws to fish the wire just like I did with the cup holder on this side. My top cup holder bolt is above my wiring, but I had to pull the lower one to get the wires past it. And then I'll just push it aside with an awl to put the screw back through later. And yes, I'm using the, the 1800 cup holders on a 1500 bike. Put the same thing up front with just a little added piece of plexi right there to extend it and get it away from my Android holder. But that's about it. It's not too bad. It works really well. It gets super hot. Probably about three to four minutes, and then you have to turn it down to the low setting where it stays good and warm. Just kind of a food for thought thing. If you have a regular passenger, they'll love you for it.
But that's it. It's relatively clean and simple. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a good one, and safe riding.